It was the perfect ending to the NFC Lease, just like we all predicted it, right? Washington, of all teams, wins the division. I want to share a tweet with you guys from Chris Mortensen. So listen to this. This is the most negative barrage of comments I've received about a game's lack of integrity, and that's not even counting Giants-related bias. Consensus from those in the NFL and who have been associated with it, disgrace. That's not the fault of the Washington football team. Max Kellerman. I was so elated after they beat the Cowboys watching that game. I know you were too. We are both Giants fans. How upset do you think folks like us should be this morning? I can tell you how upset I am. I'm livid. Tell me. I'm like I, I tweeted last night, Doug Peterson is my enemy. Like if you're a Giants fan, you hate Doug Peterson this morning. And by the way, if you're an Eagles fan, you do too. And if you're anyone except the Washington, and even Washington, like, they don't, they didn't win the game, I'm sure, the way they wanted to win. They're happy they're in the playoffs, but he's lost respect throughout the NFL. From a Giants fan point of view, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, look, guys, I could understand, and I'm not even talking about going for it on fourth down. Go ahead, go for it. You put in your third stringer, Sunfeld, what? When, when Jalen Hurts, yeah, he was struggling of late in the game. Unbelievable. But he's the only reason they were in the game on offense. And I believe if they leave him in, they win. I mean, I understand if you're playing uh, some team you don't care about and you can stick it to a divisional rival. Yeah, okay, fine, I get it. You're playing a divisional rival. You have a chance to play spoiler by beating them and keeping them out of the playoffs. And you want to give your third stringer a look? You think we even believe that? So then you look at draft position, you go, okay, if Trevor Lawrence or some quarterback they believe is a generational talent is available, if they lose this game, a lot of people still don't like it. If you listen to Jason Kelsey, he still wouldn't like it. He made a lot of good points at the post-game presser. This is not basketball where one guy is going to have that much of an influence, but at least then I understand. I might even agree with it. That's not the case. Go from nine to six? Are you kidding the Giants aren't in the playoffs and really didn't have a chance because Doug Peterson pulled that stunt and then expects us to believe his excuse afterward? What? I mean, and by the way, if that's actually what he meant, you got to get rid of him for that kind of thinking alone to give, to give your third stringer a look because he's been there for a while? No. After the ups and downs of this season, after the Giants finish against the Cowboys... After all of that, for this to come down to Doug Peterson pulling the only chance they had to win the game, and I believe the guy that would have delivered it to him for, for, these, for, for nonsense reasons that I don't even believe is the most outrageous decision made in the NFL this year, on-field decision made in the NFL this year, period. Uh, wah, 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 wah. I'll be all shut up. Stop it. You, oh, Molly, whatever, Ryan a. Clark, oh, uh, 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 Dan Orlovsky, Rex Ryan. Y'all just stop the nonsense. First of all, let's look at how the game started, ladies and gentlemen, okay? There was no Fletcher Cox. There was no Miles Sanders. There was no, De there was no, what, what was it? Was it De Dallas Goddard, Derek Barnett, several other regulars? There were none of these people starting the game. That's number one. Number two, it's not like Jalen Hurts looked like he was playing lights out. What was he, seven for 20 for 72 yards? He ran for the two touchdowns, but he looked god awful throwing the football. That's number two. Number three, they had a chance to go ahead. Obviously, he had a dude wide open in the end zone. He missed that throw. Listen, we all understand that Doug Peterson's lying through his teeth. He clearly didn't give a damn about winning the football game. We understand that. But why would that be? Could it be because the Eagles weren't going anywhere? Because Could it be because the Eagles stunk all year long? Could, could it be because, Max, they stayed with your guy, Carson Wentz, who, by the way, was designated inactive for this game? He wasn't even a backup, Sudfeld was. The bottom line is this. For you Eagle fans out there, pop the brakes. Take it. There's a silver lining. Your season has been sorry. Your team has been garbage. Your defensive coordinator, Schwartz, is going to be gone. Doug Peterson's lucky he's going to be there. Howie Roseman's lucky he's going to be there. It's been an absolute positive mess. But here's the silver lining. You actually get move up three picks in the draft. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.